Hi, sweet friends, and a welcome to my weekly this vlog. Morning, I am here at AR's Cafe in Freeport, Texas. I just picked me up a, a summer special, and I'm gonna head back to the house and enjoy my lunch. As I was saying, I did stop in at AR's and I got breakfast, a lunch. It is about 11 o'clock, so I went ahead and just got a lunch item. The summer special, it is a tostada, a chalupa, a taco, a side of rice. They give you a little bag of chips and some hot sauce. And then I also stopped in at Bucky's and I got me a, a fountain soda. Helped my day go a little better. I really enjoy fountain sodas. That is my my one bad thing that I do or one of the bad things that I do. I'm sure there's other things, but I do enjoy a good soda every day. So I'm going to eat lunch and get on Today with Today is putting away the laundry day. It is actually a Monday and I did laundry on a Sunday. But I had a whole a lot of things to do yesterday. So laundry got pushed out for one day. So we are here on Monday. And I want to get these laundry items put away and uh, get on with it. Today is actually a Valentine's Day. And uh, it'll be almost a week before y'all see this video. So I hope everyone had a amazing Valentine's Day and got to spend time with your loved ones. I'm going to get these a few things hung up, put away, and then I have a few things to chit chat with y'all about. This week is my mom's night out. Me and my friends go out once a month. And so we're going out on Tuesday, which is Galentine's. And so we will actually be celebrating a Valentine's Day together tomorrow. Well, not Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day tomorrow. So that is going to be a lot of fun seeing my friends. We love to get together and catch up. We've all been friends for a really, really long time. And our monthly um, get-togethers are always so much fun. Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble. And I'm one coat hanger short. So I thought I had counted them out correctly, but I guess I didn't. did a declutter in my closet. I think I picked out 20 items out of my closet. I can't remember. 50 items out of my house. 46. Uh, quite a few items that I took to the thrift store. That I do know. Decluttering is so liberating, guys. It just feels so good to get the stuff out. And so I've really been on a journey to declutter. So, story time. Friday night, I believe it was Friday night. Friday night or Saturday night. It was Saturday night. I was taking a shower and... um the water in the shower like slowed down like a whole lot and I was like full full lather like I'm like lathered up and so I start just rinsing real quick because I didn't know if something had happened to the water well and I didn't want to be with no water lathered up and soaked so I rinse off real quick but as the water goes down I can hear something just gushing so I shut shut the shower off and the hot water hose that goes into the sink was spewing water, hot, 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 hot water all over the bathroom and flooding the floor. Guys, I had to jump out. Of course, I was naked and tried to cut that valve off where it comes out of the floor. That tubing had come out of the 
out of the um, faucet and the water was like projectile shooting across the bathroom. <gasps> It was like burning me. I was trying to hurry and the water is just gushing out of the bathroom towards the living room. <sighs> it was horrible. Like for two days, I could still feel like my skin tingling. I, I didn't get burned. Like my, my skin never got red or anything like that. But I could still feel the tingle, especially on my, my right thigh. I could still feel my, my thigh tingling. Um... Sunday for sure so at least for 24 hours it tingled and um, I had to use every towel I could find to help soak up all that water that was that was so horrible I never I've never seen anything like that and I could just hear it like immediately when the water went down you could just hear gush it was so bad horrible 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 Ugh. Anyway, I made it through. I got the water shut off. I got the water soaked up with all the towels. And, uh, you know, sometimes things just don't go too good. I, that happened in the evening. Earlier in the day, I was uh, got up early. I have a lot of trouble. Like, for my longer videos, it takes a very long time for them to upload. So, I got up at 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Bright and early, I thought, I'm going to get this my vlog uploaded early that way i don't have to worry about it all day and i sat in my my couch has got two recliners and um one recliner is already kind of wonky the couch is horrible but the the other one was still good like the one i was sitting in i went to lean it back and it broke my the good the good one broke the other one's like on its last leg. Like it's just going to give out any minute. So Saturday was the, the recliner broke on the couch. And then the hot water going to the sink broke. But we got two options, you know, when things start going bad. Either we can scream and cuss and cry and all the things. Or we can just say, you know what, thank you, Jesus and keep on going so you know what i chose joy and i give god all the praise and the glory and the honor and all the things and um they keep on pressing on so that's what i did just keep on pressing on i can't can't lose sleep over because i can't change it i can just get the sink repaired eventually i'll get a new couch right now i don't want to i don't want to um to do a new couch right now so i'm just gonna go with what i have and make the best of it so i went to aldi's there was a couple of things that i wanted to get at aldi's and they didn't have the things that i wanted i got three things at aldi's which i'll share with y'all which i shared with y'all in my sunday or in my week weekly vlog but i i did notice and this isn't a new one but they had a lot of the Huntington home candles not this one but I just brought this one over here so I would remember to tell you if you like these big three wick candles and you don't want to have to pay like a bath and body work prices go to all these try these Huntington home candles and um, they have a lot of new scents I think they're like four dollars and 49 cents or 4.99 anyway that's a good buy next I would clean out my purse and always collecting in my purse is change, pins, receipts, coupons. So make sure you go through your purse, grab out all the crap that you don't need to be packing around all week. Our purses get so darn heavy and um, get them cleaned out. I always try to clean mine out on Sunday and that way it is light and ready for the week. And then when I clean out my purse... I always make sure I scan my receipts and then um, document them in the Fetch app. Um, let's see, my latest, uh, most of the receipts are worth 25 points. Sometimes they are worth a little more. Like this Dollar Tree receipt was worth 35 points. Here's a HEB receipt. That was worth 70 points. So you just never know. Make sure you scan 
our uh, photo, all your receipts into the Fetch app. If you haven't signed up for Fetch, I have a referral code that you can use. I get extra points. You get extra points when you use my code and we both win. So I am working towards 50,000 points. And when I reach that, I get a $50 gift card. And so that is exciting. So for you guys that have used that referral code, um, used my referral code, I appreciate you. And I thank you for um, using that code. That does help me to gain extra points. Next, collagen. I had talked to y'all sometime back about collagen and I had bought these collagen pills at Costco and they are the worst. They're the worst in that they are so hard to swallow, guys. Like, I am a pro. I'm like, toss all the pills back and give me a drink of water and I can go on with it. Guys, these right here stick in the throat. So, I mean, if you, if you want them, um, go for it. But I don't... I would not buy them again. I will say that. I did, however, get these and I did share these in my Walmart haul. Um, they are gummies. You get 120 pills. You take four of them a day. So this is a 30 day supply for $14.97. And I've only been taking these a few days. So there is that little bit of information. Here's what they look like. And they're not bad. They're not bad at all. So got those. And then the last thing that I was going to share with you, y'all know I love to organize and my house is uh, pretty well organized. Every, every, there's very few places that are not completely organized, but I do organize even my medicine. I have this large tote. This is for my medicine, my vitamins, anything that has to do with my health is in here. It's not like Advil, you know, allergy medicine, like over the counter. That's not in here. If something were to happen to me and my girls needed to get to my medicine, they would know to come here and get it here. And then I have baggies. This, this is one of the things that I didn't have organized is I have these vitamins that are for um, that virus that's going around. These are uh, immunity boosters and so i wanted to put them all in a bag i already have a bag that is labeled daytime and a bag that is labeled at nighttime with the pills that i take for those times of the day but these were just a skew in the tote so um I, this this is just a good way for me to keep everything together and like i say if something happened my girls could go in here they could grab the bag that said nighttime and they would know exactly what I take at night or what exactly what I take during the day. So I always want to make sure that I am thinking ahead. If somebody were to have to help me or take care of me, that they would know, know what, what they needed to do. So anyway, guys, that is it. That is a laundry chit chat for this week. And let's press on with our day and see what else we can get into. So I was in the kitchen cooking Valentine dinner and I hear this boy in here chewing on something. And lo and behold, he's chewed up his, his baby. He destroyed his baby. Got all the pieces from him. Chewed a hole right in its side and took out all the, the noise maker. Today is a Friday and my granddaughter is here with me. She is off school today and we are headed to the dentist the first thing this morning and then we're going to see what else we can get into. She wants to go to an antique store. So that is our main goal today, dentist and an antique store. So we'll take y'all along and uh, I've just finished up at the dentist and now we are heading into a McDonald's to grab some breakfast. Sausage, egg and cheese, a biscuit, hash brown and a large Coke. And my granddaughter got a McGriddle. That's her favorite. We're now here at Walmart. 
gonna head in and return an item and pick up a few items that we just need. this two pack of Adreno here at Walmart it was uh, like $14.97 something to that effect then I was talking to my youngest daughter and she said they sell a similar product at the Dollar Tree that works well so I'm gonna return these and pick up some at the Dollar Tree decorative Easter ribbon here at Walmart for 98 cents so it's a little bit cheaper than they're at the Dollar Tree. It's super cute. It is the Easter grass with pom poms and confetti. That's cute. I love that green. And it is two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Set of plates and napkins for ninety-eight cents at Walmart getting anything at a walmart except for my granddaughter wanted a recorder how many of y'all remember playing a recorder in fifth grade i do i had a black recorder and both of my daughters each had a recorder so she's learning to play a recorder and so we were excited to be able to find this for her i found the garlic bread i've been on the hunt for garlic bread for about two weeks now and i finally found it at walmart up by the registers had to end up getting some like garlic butter knots in the bakery section last week. And now I know where to look. Me and Elizabeth are now in Angleton and she has been practicing on her recorder and she is gonna play us a little ditty. Uh, Mary had a little lamb. She's gonna play as much as she can remember. She doesn't have her piece of sheet music so she's going by memory. Hit it Elizabeth. Perfect. <laughs> Thought I would uh, pop on here and uh, share with you the few things that I picked up at the antique store. I did speak that we were going to go to the antique store. My granddaughter had never been, or at least in her knowing years, she had never been to an antique store and she really wanted to go. So I did take her to the antique mall in Alvin, Texas, and we, we went there and shopped. That is a huge antique mall with many, many vendors and um she she did enjoy it i think her most favorite thing to find were the old timey phones the the rotary dial ones and then the the push button ones so um i think she found one of those in almost every booth that we went to it seemed like it anyway and then the typewriter she enjoyed looking at those as well but i just picked up three things and the first one is this raggedy ann she has seen uh, a lot of fun days she was well played with and i just think i can clean her up and add her to my collection she does have her little stamp and um i'll just spray her down with some uh, spray and wash and let her soak i feel like maybe her eyes were replaced those those don't look like original eyes but there she is. I have two more and I will actually include a clip of the ones that I have um, right after I get through with this. So there she is, $2. And then I picked up some of these big bonus stamps. They had this large bag full of them for $10. And uh, these are the, actually the big bonus stamps that I remember as a kid, I, I believe like that so these books are full and i see people using them for their junk journal so i went ahead and i picked these up so i got these and then i got this style so there is several different styles in this bag and i pulled out one of each to share with you so they had the green stamp the quick saber book which is what they look like they had the McDonald plaid stamp saver book. And uh, this one doesn't have any stamps in it, but it's pretty cool. The small big bonus stamp book. And actually some, some of the, the little stamps. It had a, another 
style of the green stamps. Top value stamp book. It's a cute little elephant with uh, this style of stamp in it. And then uh, last but not least, it had the blue chip saving book. So there we go. So that is what we got. Um, they had music playing in there, so I couldn't get any footage, but we had a good time. And, um, like I say, that mall was a really large. And I think by the time we got to the end of it, both of us were done. We had been out all day long, uh, shopping and doing all the things. So we really enjoyed our day together. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube and I will see each of you in my next video. Bye guys.